Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session, we learnt about the most popular cache memory mapping technique, the set associative mapping. In continuation to that, today we are at our first installment of solving numerical problems, which will concrete our concept on this mapping technique. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Consider this example number 1, here a byte addressable main memory of size 256 megabytes is given, the cache size is 1 megabyte, the block is of 128 byte size, and the organization of the cache is two-way set associative. And suppose the usual questions are being asked, that means first they are asking us about the physical address split, thereafter we need to find out the tag directory size as well. However, for this particular example, suppose we are also being asked about the number of comparators needed and the type of the comparator. Now let's try to solve this. Now the byte addressable main memory size is given as 256 megabytes. Therefore, 256 is nothing but 2 to the power 8 and megabyte is 2 to the power 20, which results in 2 to the power 28 in terms of bytes. So the size of the physical address space or the main memory can be written as 2 to the power 28 in terms of bytes. Therefore, for physical address, we will be needing 28 bits. Now the block size is given as 128 bytes, which can also be written as 2 to the power 7 bytes. Therefore, for offset, we will be needing 7 bits. So, from 28 bits physical address, the least significant 7 bits will be used for block or line offset. Now in order to find out the number of blocks inside the main memory, we need to divide the size of the main memory that is 2 to the power 28 by the block size which is 2 to the power 7, which will give us 2 to the power 21 because 28 minus 7 is 21 and therefore 21 bits will be used for the block numbers. Now the cache size is given as 1 megabytes which is nothing but 2 to the power 20 in terms of bytes. Now we already know in order to find out the number of lines inside the cache, we need to divide the cache size that is 2 to the power 20 by the block or the line size which is 2 to the power 7. That will give us 2 to the power 13 for obvious reasons because 20 minus 7 is 13. Now coming to the cache organization, it's a two-way set associative cache that means every set will contain two lines. Therefore, let's find out the number of sets. And in order to do so, we need to divide the number of cache lines by the set size, which will give us 2 to the power 12. Therefore, 12 bits will be used for the set number portion. Now we can easily find out the number of tag bits subtracting 12 plus 7 from 28, which will result in 9 bits. Therefore, from the 28 bits physical address, 7 least significant bits will be used for block or line offset, 12 bits will be used for set number, and 9 bits will be used for tag, and this is the PS split that we were looking for. Now coming to the tag directory size, we know there are 2 to the power 13 lines inside the cache, therefore 2 to the power 13 entries are going to be inside the tag directory. And size of the each tag is 9 bits, so 2 to the power 13 multiplied by 9 bits is going to give us 73,728 bits. And that is the answer of our second question. Now let's find out the answer to our last segment, that is the number of comparators needed and the type of comparator. Now we are dealing with two-way set associative cache, therefore every set is going to have two lines. So we will be needing only two comparators for the entire cache, because every set is having two lines in them. Then again, the size of the tag field is 9 bits long, therefore the type of the comparator is 9-bit. So, two 9-bit comparators will be needed and that is the answer to our final segment. Now consider this example number 2. Here, a byte addressable main memory of size 4 megabytes is given. The block size is mentioned as 64 bytes. Tag bits are given and for tags, 10 bits are specified. And we are using a 4-way set associative cache. Suppose now we are being asked about first the physical address split, then they are asking us about the cache size. Now let's try to solve this. Now the main memory size is given as 4 megabytes, therefore in other words physical address space is of 4 megabytes. Now 4 is 2 square and megabyte is 2 to the power 20, which in terms of byte is 2 to the power 22. Hence, for physical address we will be needing 22 bits. 
Now the block size is given as 64 bytes, which can also be written as 2 to the power 6 in terms of bytes. Therefore, for offset, 6 bits will be used. So from 22 bits physical address bit, least significant 6 bits are going to be used for block or line offset. Now we can find out the number of blocks inside the main memory, dividing the physical address space size that is 2 to the power 22 by the block size that is 2 to the power 6, which will give us 2 to the power 16, because 22 minus 6 is 16 bits. So 16 bits are going to be used for block numbers. Now in the question itself, the tag bits are mentioned, hence 10 bits are going to be used for the tag fill. Thereafter, we are using a four-way set associative cache. That means every set is going to have four lines or two square lines. Therefore, the set size is two square. Now we can easily find out the set number bits by subtracting the tag bits from the block number bits that is 16 minus 10 which is 6. So 6 bits are going to be used for the set number portion. Therefore, from 22 bits physical address, 6 least significant bits are going to be used for block or line offset, 6 bits are going to be used for the set number field, and 10 bits are being used for tags. And that is the physical address split. Now let's find out the cache size. Now since there are 6 bits for the set number portion, therefore the number of sets inside the cache is 2 to the power 6. Also, we know the set size is 2 square, that means every set is having 4 lines. So we now can easily find out the number of lines inside the cache as well. In order to do so, we need to multiply the number of sets with the set size. That is, 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 2 square, which is nothing but 2 to the power 8, because 6 plus 2 is nothing but 8. Therefore, inside the cache, there is going to be 2 to the power 8 lines and we already know the block size is 2 to the power 6 in terms of bytes. Therefore, the cache size can be found out by multiplying the line numbers and the block or line size, which results in 2 to the power 14 in terms of bytes because 8 plus 6 is nothing but 14. Now, we already know 2 to the power 10 is kilobyte. And we strip down 2 to the power 10 from that, making the unit as kilobyte, and the remaining 2 to the power 4 is nothing but 16 kilobytes. Therefore, the cache size is 16 kilobytes. Now observe the way we calculated the cache size a bit carefully. In order to find out the cache size, we first found out the number of lines, which is 2 to the power 8 in this case, and thereafter, we multiplied the number of lines with the block or the line size. Now backtracking this procedure, let's find out how we calculated the number of lines in the first place. In order to find out the number of lines, we multiplied the number of sets, that is 2 to the power 6 in this instance, with the set size, which is 2 to the power 2 for this particular example problem. Therefore, in order to find out the cache size, we first multiplied the number of sets with the set size and that gave us the number of lines inside the cache. And afterwards, we multiplied the number of lines inside the cache with the block or the line size. Eventually, that gave us the cache size in total. Now, this formula will be very useful in solving various types of numerical problems. Let's observe that in the next example. Consider this example number 3, where the cache size is given as 256 kilobytes, the tag bits are provided as 8 bits, and the cache is of 8-way set associative organization. Now, suppose they are asking us about the byte addressable main memory size. Now, let's try to solve this. Suppose the physical address split is something like this. So, we already know 8 bits are going to be used for the tags. And assuming X bits are there for the set number portion and Y bits are being used for the block or line offset. Now using the formula we just saw, we already know in order to calculate the cache size, we need the number of sets multiplied with the set size and with this entire thing we need to multiply the block size and that will be our equation. Now let's substitute the values, that is the cache size is already given as 256 kilobytes, right? So 256 kilobytes we are substituting in place of cache size. Now X bits are being used for the set number portion, therefore the number of sets is nothing but 2 to the power X. 
Now coming to the set size, as you can see, it's a eight to a set associative cache. Therefore, every set it will be having eight lines in them. So two to the power x multiplied by eight will give us the number of lines inside the cache. Now coming to the block size, y bits are being used for the block or line offset. Therefore, the block size is nothing but two to the power y. Now it's a byte addressable memory, isn't it? Therefore, we can convert 256 kilobyte into 2 to the power 8 plus 10 because 256 is 2 to the power 8 and kilobyte is nothing but 2 to the power 10. Now, in the right hand side of the equation, 8 is a value. It's not a variable. So, for the sake of simplification, let's bring all the values to one single side of the equation. Now, how will we do that? Since we want 8 to be on the left hand side of the equation, we divide both the sides with the same value 8. Now on the right hand side of the equation, this and this 8 would cancel themselves out, leaving us with 2 to the power 8 plus 10 divided by 8 on the left hand side. So the equation becomes 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power y, leaving only the variable portions on the right hand side. Now 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power y can be substituted as 2 to the power x plus y. And simplifying this portion, it becomes 2 to the power 18 divided by 2 cube, which is nothing but 2 to the power 15, because 18 minus 3 is nothing but 15. Therefore, we can state x plus y is nothing but 15. Now we can easily find out the physical address bits. So for the physical address bits, we already know 8 bits are being used for tags. And the remaining x plus y bits, we already calculated to be 15. Therefore, the physical address is going to be of 23 bits. Therefore, the main memory size is 2 to the power 23 in terms of bytes because it's a byte addressable memory. Now, 2 to the power 23 bytes can be converted into 2 to the power 3 megabytes because 2 to the power 20 is megabytes and we have stripped down the remaining 2 cube, which gives us 8 megabytes and that is the size of the main memory. So that was all for this session. I believe it was useful to you all. In the next discussion, we will solve few more example problems. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.